that will prevent DW2 and DW2 EMG system. I will start with the hardware. Here we have DW2 amplifier and port exterminator. The DW2 is a 25 channel amplifier. That box is built into the amplifier. As you can see on the image display, we have the full template followed by one bipolar auxiliary channel, which is X1 and Y1, in the bottom left corner of the head box payout. On the right hand side, we have two auxiliary channels, which are labeled X2 and X3. X1 and Y1 is typically used for EKG, during routine EEG. X2, X3 are typically used for your eyes or extra EEG channels such as T1, T2. The system has one patient ground which can typically be connected on the patient's forehead or FPZ rotation and a system reference which can go near the patient ground or in between FZ and CZ. On the left side of this image, we have the Fortix stimulator. This is a 30 LED Fortix 10, which connects directly to the amplifier, does now require power source, and is controlled directly by the EEG software. Here we have the VW2 and a mobile EEG trolley part. As you can see, the headbox amplifier can be mounted onto a flexible moving arm, which allows us to use it in routine EEG environments as well as ICU and LTM mobile environments. On the back side, we have three connections. The first one on the left hand side is an RJ45 cable connection. This connects directly to the computer through the porting. In the center, we have a RJ11, which is similar to a phone line connection, and this connects directly to the phone extenuator. And on the right-hand side, we have a DB9 connector, which is for the power supply. And this is where we connect the power supply. Everything is integrated inside this one unit. You can see here, this is the back end of the port extenuator. And in this image, we have all three systems, all three connections already in place. We have CAT5, Fortic cable, and power supply. This is for the BW2 EEG 29 channel. The second system that I want to highlight is the BW3. This is our 50 channel EEG and PSG sleep study amplifier. As you can see in this image, we have both the head box and the amplifier. On the left hand side, we have the remote head box. And on the right hand side, we have the amplifier with dual inputs. The amplifier has full 1020 plus T1, T2, has a patient ground, system reference, has two monopore channels, which are labeled one and two. These are typically used for the eyes, left eye, right eye. And it has a total of 10 bipolar channels, which can be used for the arms, legs, EKG, basically any dual parameter, any bipolar parameter, or for sleep testing as well. We can integrate respiratory channels as well as sensors for polysonography for sleep studies. The amplifier has a bedside impedance check, so we can check the impedances from the amplifier or from the software. And the head box allows us to connect the sensors and the electrodes on the head box instead of the amplifier. The head box connects to the amplifier via two SCSI cables that connect directly from the head box to the amplifier. This amplifier is also used for PSG polysonography, sleep studies for sleep disorders, 
and as you can see the layout is a little bit different from the amplifiers you have the full 1020 and followed by the sleep layout so we have right eye left eye thermal flow sensor chin thorax abdomen these are all sleep parameters which are used for PSC Keep in mind that these channels can be used for any parameter. They do not need to be used for PSG. You can use them for EEG, say arms, legs, extra EKG, extra muscle tone. Basically, any parameter you want to use, you can use your channel. The photic stimulator for the BW3 is identical to the photic stimulator on the BW2. Connects the same way. And the software is the same software for both devices. You can pick and choose the amplifier, but the software is the same. 